All right, this is it, everyone. This is it. Two years ago, we were graced with the new game series from the makers of Yakuza that admittedly had a lot of the gameplay elements from Yakuza carried over, and it was a summer-long playthrough of 2019. I thought it was one of the best games of the year. It blew me away with how good it was. We took our time. I did ridiculous amounts of side content, and we just had a ton of fun with the playthrough. All right, fast forward a uh, couple, uh, couple of years later here, and the sequel, the sequel is out, Lost Judgment. I am playing it on release day. Actually, I bought the Digital Deluxe Edition to play it a few days early, which is excellent, because I was dying to play it. I wanted to play it as soon as I possibly could. And the first major playthrough I am doing on the Xbox Series X when I had an option to choose between if I want it on my Series X or my PS5, and I chose the Series X. I hope that it was a good decision. We're also going to go with English. And yes, we are going to go with English audio, just like I did in the first game. Here we go. Oh. Seriously, right now, the studio can do no wrong. They're doing such great work with the Yakuza franchise and, and Judgment at the same time. It's excellent, man. Lost Judgment. Gotta press... Um, oh, it's Lost Judd. Lost Judd. Just J-U-D. My camera's fucking the text. Lost Judd. You know what? I, w I actually wonder... What side of the screen I should put my camera on for this playthrough? We're not going to know until we actually boot it up and see the heads-up display. But, uh, here. Lost Judgment! I guess we should be able to see it. Wow, this is pretty dramatic, huh? Uh, hey, uh, you... Why are you smoking in the rain? Oh, there's a kitty! I didn't even see the kitty down there! Kitty, get out of the rain! What are you doing? That cat is... I mean, most cats don't like water. I don't know why that cat would be standing there staring at, uh, our protagonist. <laughs> Holy crap. The, indeed, the rain is very heavy, Darkness. Indeed. I'm pressing the any button. Alright. First of all, let's go to setting. Oh, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> A cute kitty. Uh, how do I get to the setting? Game settings. Graphics. Oh. Standard or resolution priority? I'd rather go standard because resolution priority sounds like it's going to have more detail but cut off the frame rate and I don't want that. Make sure everything here is normal. Subtitles are on by default. Good. Speaker type stereo sound. No, I want surround. Here we go. Oh, nice. It actually kicked it up right a notch right there. Very nice. Brightness level will do it up one. Just one. Other. I guess we're good. All right. Oh, wait a minute. It jumps. When you go to game settings, it shows the cute kitty. <laughs> Why does it do that? That's silly. He's like, what are you doing over there? Look at it. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Why are you messing with those options? Why aren't you playing the game? Why aren't you out finding cute kitties in, in Tokyo? Because if you remember, that was actually one of the side missions in the original Judgment was to find cats all around the town. And they would meow and you'd have to like seek them out. It was really cute. All right. New game. Normal difficulty, please. And we already adjusted that. Turn on autosave. Absolutely yes. All right. The game uses an autosave feature. Very good. Derek says that... Oh. Right, this is a work of fiction, just so you guys know. It's not a true story. Derek says my original Judgment playthrough was one of his favorites of all time. So, here we go. It's Izaki Ichinjo in Yokohama. We're almost on scene. There's definitely smoke, but no visible signs of fire. It looks more like signal flares. Signal probably flares. a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Who the hell sent off signal flares inside of a building? Ah, I told you this was a prank. <laughs> I don't see any fire. <sighs> who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. An arrow? What the? What the hell? Oh no. Well, we know what's under there. Oh shit. <laughs> it ain't a big uh, pile of takoyaki, that's for sure. Just one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. Oh boy. <sighs> it's Kazuma Kiryu! He's dead! Oh! 
Yummy! Maggots, oh yeah. Delicious. That's a hell of a way to start it. Are we gonna get a good musical Japan, start? Like the last one? 99.9% of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to one. But I beat those odds on a murder case. That's right. It's a hell of an achievement. Unfortunately, it came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. That's right. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom. And when they do, someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. December 6th? Okay, December. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Delicious! Ivy Burger! Hey, uh, talk. What? Man, I'm bored. <laughs> sucks. How about you hit me with some trivia then? That would pass the time. I mean, come on, man. You never know how long a stakeout's gonna last. Even Keiko-chan's losing her mind. Now, hold on. One thing I should call out, just so you guys understand, there's gonna be a difference between this and the last one. I have to call this out, because I'm already noticing it. This is the first time this studio has put out a worldwide release. This game is coming out for Western audiences exactly the same time it's coming out in Japan. Because of that, they didn't have time to just lip-sync the cutscenes with English. So I want you guys to understand that because you might be watching and be like, oh, it doesn't look like the lips are synced in the cutscenes. That's on purpose. They didn't They didn't take the extra year that they usually do to do that. They wanted a worldwide release, which I agree with. I would much rather have the game come out worldwide than wait a year for them to lip sync. You see? So it's going to be unsynced just so you guys know, but it's good reason. I'm, I'm happy to be playing it earlier. Okay. I'm sure she is. Give me a sec to come up with a zinger, okay? Head of the Yagami Detective Agency, Takayuki Yagami. Okay, sure. You think up a tough question, and I just leave you to your thoughts. Wait a damn minute! How does that even solve this problem then, man? <laughs> the agency investigator, Masaharu Kaito. Basically your best um, bud. Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy, how'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. So she was very client. detective agency, we make sure our client's hearts are at the heart of our business. There you go. That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. The audio sounds great. Like the bit, the audio mix, the bass is good and everything, and the music it sounds excellent. Let's say he always eats fast food for lunch. Yeah, but after twenty minutes, I think he'd be done by now. Now see, this is sync. I don't know. He always makes me worry. Their lips are synced here. Habits. Say, Kikuchan, how'd a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? I'd say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. So he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date? <laughs> Sounds like a real catch. <laughs> He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. Then he sticks his own girl with a bill? Dickhead doesn't begin to describe it. <laughs> I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. No, nah, that sounds like a setup. So they bled you out of 800 grand. 400 still to go. For a total of 1.2 mil. 
It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke-kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Here we go. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? How do they, how do they all get ro roped into this? Right? The last game was the same. These, the, everyone gets roped into this shit and they think that it's real legit. It's like, oh my god. It's obviously they're scamming you. Guy meets girl. They go out. He racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Yep. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. Not here. <laughs> Sometimes the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending this city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. Listen, Keiko-chan, I hate to be so blunt, but Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself, there's not much we can do for you. Ain't that right, Tuck? Well, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the hour. Ah. Here he comes. <clears throat> the scammer. Kosuke kun <clears throat> I'm gonna need to follow him. You two stay here. Wait a minute, follow him. We'll get this all cleared up. Oh no! <laughs> About time we saw some action. Are we starting off with a tailing mission? Oh no! Hey, talk. You read me? <laughs> you gotta be okay, too. Oh no! A tailing mission to start. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust the camera, move it up a little bit, cause I'm actually blocking the mini map. I can't believe we're starting this with the tailing mission. Come on. <laughs> There was like 40 billion of these in the original game. <laughs> All right. A tailing mission to start. Great. Please. I can tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. Graphics look great on the Series X. Be careful here. I mean, the notable difference here is it's 60 frames per second, right? Full 60 frames. Okay. He's turning back. Is he supposed to meet someone? Oh! The hell? Excuse me. Acting casual. You can deflect your target's attention by pressing and holding Y to act casual. You'll do things like fiddle with your phone or check your appearance in a mirror. You know, stuff that tails don't do. <laughs> Too close. I gotta pay Kaito son, don't I? Must be my imagination. This is new. In the last game, you had to blend in with the environment. In this one, you could do blending in activities. I like that. All right. There he goes. The music is outstanding already. I love it. I love the kind of music in these games, man. He's running. Aha. <clears throat> Is that? Oh, come on. You better not start cheating already or else I'll feel bad for Keiko-chan. In any case, I should get some evidence of this. Likely he's doing the same exact thing to another girl. He's scamming a bunch of people at once, probably, right? Kaito-san. We made contact with a new face. Yeah, see, it's synced. You can get a shot as evidence. What it seems to me is that only the pre-rendered cutscenes are the ones where it doesn't sync. But for all this live rendered stuff, it's all synced properly. So, all right, so this is now becoming a photo mission. What's up, Guts the Black Swordsman? Good to see you here today. It's becoming a photo mission. Your goal is to capture an investigation's decisive moment on camera. Each mission has a list of conditions that must be checked off to succeed. Your photo must satisfy all the good conditions or the mission will fail. And if your photo satisfies the excellent condition, you're rewarded with SP, which is the experience of the game. Retrying photo missions. You can retry the mission as long as you have photo ops remaining. We're not a photo ops. Game over, man. Hint, always check your surroundings and look for the best possible camera angle to clear the mission. Focus time. When getting a perfect shot sounds like too tall of an order, press Y to use focus time. By concentrating all of your efforts on the camera work, everything will seem to move in slow motion, making it easier for you to time your shot properly. There you go. 
Uh, Derek says the hot skewer being thrown at a person's face is one of his favorite moments from the first playthrough. So you guys will see, at least if they haven't changed it, which who knows, right? It's, you know, a couple years later, it's the sequel. In the original game, you would befriend all the people in, in, in town, Camarocho. And a lot of the people who owned the businesses, you would do missions for them. And once you befriended them, they would actually come out of the businesses to help you fight in the streets. So one of them is a guy who would throw a red-hot skewer of meat from his, his restaurant. And you stab someone in the face with it. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, we'll see if that's still in this. Okay. Press X to ready the camera. How do I zoom? Ah. Now. I feel like I get a better picture. Retake it. How do I get it in focus? Oh, the focus would let them stick. That's new. Come on, smile, you assholes. They're not smiling. Smile! Smile for the fucking camera. They won't smile now. Are you serious? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, I did it. So that's a new mechanic. The focusing wasn't a thing in the last case. You gotta focus, zoom, and hit the right timing. Got it. Matthew Smith has done a super chat. Says, all positivity to Phil. Thank you very much, Matthew Smith. I appreciate that. Get that on the leaderboard as the latest super chat. I don't know why the M is capitalized, but it's all good. Okay. Kajo san, just sent that photo to your phone. Any sage advice? Yeah, I see it. It's a perfect shot, buddy. No, who's Kosuke's new friend? Any idea? It's probably his next victim. So I guarantee it. I'm find out. I'll be in touch. Okay. Do, 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 do. Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura-chan. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke-senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, but it's not the same without you, Senpai. A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But Senpai, while we're on the subject... Yeah? I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, Girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Hmm. Yeah? Wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay. Make sure you stop by the club, huh? She's just an underclassman. Nothing romantic happening here. Alright, the tailing continues. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. What are you guys doing? Are you walking into each other? Oh, crazy. Oops. Not working. Must be my imagination. Whoa. I'm screwed. Hey, you. Too close. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I didn't know that was him. I had no idea that that was him. Oh, gotta do the whole mission over from the start. God damn it. <laughs> I fucked up. Man, I, because I probably oh, yeah, yeah. I hope I fucked up. Immediate fail. No, the truth is I didn't know that was him. I didn't know that that was him at the top of the stairs. 
Failed the first mission. That's it. I'm. It's, there's no retries. You gotta rebuy the game if you want to continue. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't want to do that. Oh my god. Oh, let's go over here. <laughs> that totally wasn't conspicuous in any way. Why are they staring at the mascot? I remember that mascot, but I don't know why the hell uh, he'd be interested in... Oh shit, he's coming over here. He's following... Wait a minute, he's tailing me. Yo, he's tailing me. Whoa. Guess it's okay. He is. Look, he's following me. <laughs> I'm failing again. Okay. <laughs> Where did he go? Too close. Ah! <laughs> I hate this. I hate the tailing missions. Here he goes. He's following me. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. He's still running by me, look! Oh my god. Ugh. I suck so bad. I suck so fucking bad at this. Ugh. Shit. Hey, wait a sec. That's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Aniki's affair to his old lady. Yeah, fuck that guy! Uh-oh. Anaki got so pissed, he took it out on us! Still fucking sore about it! Uh-oh. Yo, Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro! Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it? Okay, first combat. <laughs> Street pumps. All right. Crane is a highly evasive style centered around crowd control and mobility. Yagami's attacks have a wider reach and can hit multiple enemies at once while in Crane. He can also perform successful, excuse me, successive dodges and even combo into aerial abilities with Sky Dancer. Quick steps allow you to gracefully evade attacks while you can equip step in other styles and mechanics will vary slightly. Normal evade is to hold right bumper. To maintain a fighting stance, press A to quick step in the direction when you're tilting the thumbstick. Or perfect evade is to press A as soon as the enemy attacks. <clears throat> Sky Dancer is primarily an evasive maneuver. However, by acquiring certain skills, Yagami will be able to attack and even unleash EX actions while airborne. You press A while holding the left bumper. One more block. Hit me! Haha, <laughs> no one will hit me! What's going on? No one will strike! There we go. <laughs> okay. Now their health goes down. Nice! Nice. 
Ultimate boost! I get ultimate boost. <laughs> Very nice. Not exactly sure that's accurate to the crane fighting style, but it's all good. It was very flare, flary, <laughs> very uh, flamboyant. Oh, there he is! Somehow we managed to fight all those guys and not lose the tail. How did that happen? Oh yeah, I need to get more cash. I guess I'll stop by the popo. This freaking parking lot. I remember this parking lot from the previous games. How Kozuke Kun spends his money is key information. I should get a picture of how much he withdraws as evidence. Okay. There's no one here. There's totally no one here looking at you. At all. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure that'll be in this, Derek. Home runs and everything. Home run practice. Baseball's huge in Japan, as everyone remembers. Oh, shit. I'm too close to him. Dun, 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 dun. Is someone playing a harmonica? Is that what that is? I like this music. There he goes. He's running. Okay, they want me to actually go to the front of the store. I thought I was going to go across the street. Okay. Oh, picture? Now. Oh, I didn't get his face. Shit. That's still considered good. Gaito-san, I just sent you a new shot. Take a look. I didn't get his fucking yeah, uh, I see face. It. Not half bad. Huh? It's a silenced what? trumpet. Oh, I've seen you those. When they put the thing on the front. Be real with me. Kosuke's guilty as all hell, right? That's way too much money to just cruise around with. A withdrawal for any amount wouldn't prove anything. You gotta be fair here. That kind of sounds right. There's no ordinary amount for a student to throw around. What's he about to spend it on? <laughs> Tail incomplete. Cool. I sucked at it. <laughs> I did terrible. Some experience. Here we go. What the fuck is that? Dak, give me your status. What's Kosuke up to? Not a whole lot right now. <laughs> nice ad. Just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. He's going to wherever they sell. Hey, buddy. This! You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And <laughs> why not? Because I said so. Look at this guy. Why. Now beat it. Because I got three earrings in my right ear, bro. I'm serious business. Looks like Kosuke Kun got off at the fifth floor. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was to look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. Wow. What a dick. Hit him with that bicycle right in his face. definitely more to this place than meets the eye. It's a transformer. If Kosuke Kun's hiding something, this is my chance to find out what. Gotta look for a way to sneak inside the building. Search mode. Move the cursor over a suspicious area and press right trigger to look at it more closely. When an examine icon appears, investigate that spot. Suspicious. The window is practically never open, as if they're avoiding the outside world. Hey. Same thing. Suspicious. Suspicious. No way that's gonna work. No. There are ducks under the window. If I can make my way there, I can get inside without anyone noticing. Time to take a look around the building. Moving during active search mode. 
What the? If only I could climb up there, but I'd probably get to the window, but I couldn't reach even if I jumped. I need something to use as a football hole. Suspicious. Hey. Hmm. Locked up tight, the door won't budge anytime soon. Suspicious. This would be a great foothold to reach the window, but it can be spotted too easily from the street. Hey. Lockers exposed to the elements. Wonder what they use them for. Huh? Hmm. An AC unit. Maybe I can use that as a foothold to reach the open window. Looks easy enough to climb onto, so it should make for solid footing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Very good. Sneak inside using the location found during your investigation as a starting point. Parkour overview. Sometimes you'll need to make your own way to reach your destination. This is when parkour comes in handy. Check your surroundings for a foothold to order to begin parkour. When in parkour mode, use a left thumbstick to order a foothold to use it. Parkour, parkour! Around the grip gauge, the grip gauge around Yagami will deplete as he climbs or uses his arms. If the grip gauge runs out, Yagami will fall and you'll have to retry from that point. Without cli about climbing walls. While, while climbing, your grip gauge goes down. You left thumbstick to move horizontally and B and up and down to move vertically. Parkour! Derek, perhaps they are not in Kamurocho. I'm not sure. Hardcore! Parkour! Yeah! A toughness light. My first healing item. Mysterious seeds. What are they doing there? Oh, look, pigeons. Oh, it scared the pigeons away. Hardcore. Parkour. Yeah. What do I do here? Uh-oh. Aha. Uh -huh. You hanging in there, buddy? Uh, kind of hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now. Everything's under control. You can also release your grit. I just, I literally just did that. I pressed down and B and he released. Yep. Hardcore parkour, yeah. And who remembers that? That's an old school reference to my, what the? There's a kitty. I just heard a kitty. A hidden kitty. Where's the hidden kitty? I don't know. I don't see it now. We're not supposed to do it yet. Wait, is that it right there? A hidden kitty. There's two hidden kitties. How cute. Double kitty. <laughs> Cats are so fearless. They really are. They don't they're not afraid of heights at all, man. They don't care. We've done it. Oh yeah. Kosuke Kun went up to the fifth floor. I guess I got two more to go. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh hey guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. Hey, who's this clown? First time I've ever seen him. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Yeah, uh, that's in the wrong floor. Keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? <laughs> Seriously, it's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room? Oh, of course. <laughs> Should have known this wasn't it. Before you go, I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Kosuke give you a card? Uh, he should have? Shoot, I can't seem to find it. <laughs> Not so. Well, now we got a problem. Uh-oh. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. There won't be a next time, dumbass. <clears throat> we don't carry cards here. No. <laughs> now who the hell are you and how'd you get in? Better start talking. Uh, here we go. Tell me, what's Kosuke doing in the tatami room? Taking a shit on the We're tatami. Not you <laughs> shit. Street punks. Oh, tiger style. Tiger is a balanced style with a variety of offensive, defensive, and evasive maneuvers designed for single enemy fights. Charge attacks. After performing a rush combo, you can turn your finishing blow into a charge attack. 
Charge attacks are stronger than regular finishing blows. It can even break the enemy's guard. Press X any number of times, then hold Y. Ooh. Take it to the extreme. <laughs> EX actions are stylish techniques that can be activated in many different situations. They're much stronger than your regular attacks. It can be performed as long as the EX gauge is at least one segment charged. You press Y when Y EX action is displayed on the screen. The EX gauge. Charge up that EX gauge by attacking enemies or taunting them by pressing the left thumbstick while holding right bumper. Various items and skills can also help you charge the EX gauge. Hold a trigger to prevent EX actions from triggering, allowing you to conserve the EX gauge for when you'll need it most. Groovy. Now, suck it! Oh! Oh! Power of Tiger! Oh, finish it! Oh, finish it! Nice. EX action! Oh! Oh! What is that? Is that a steel chair? Oh! Oh, motherfucker! Oh! Oh! EX action! Up and down and all around! Here it goes! Oh, my foot nose! Very nice. Fuck you. Kick to the back of the head. What the fuck? Yo, <laughs> what a glitch. It glitched out. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Nice dragon screw. Dragon screw takedown. Kick to the back of the fucking head. Let's slam it. Up and down. Very nice. All right, now we can finish them. Come here. Oh. Oh. Bitch. Come on, Abe. Oh. Out the window. Throw him out the window. Oh. I want to throw him out the window. Very nice. Woo. Yeah. Good. What's going on? I'm still in that building. Yeah, I murdered some people. Had a little run in with some watchdogs. <laughs> They're dead. And apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now, he's in their tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members only building with goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now, the tatami room ain't no tea shop. Ah, huh. Not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. Ha! <laughs> you got questions? I've got answers. I said we have an intruder. I don't know how he got in. Say what? Oh my god. What happened? You there? Tell me something, Tog. Why is a college kid hanging out with a bunch of gambling lowlifes? We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Huh? <laughs> well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught. Unless you want to fight on your hands. Believe me, I don't. Okay. Derek, don't worry, I just got rid of an imposter. You said it was, I looked it up, it was, so he's out of here. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Well, Donald Trump just hit me a dollar fifty and did the song, the lyrics to "Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me" from uh, U2's, uh, YouTube's repertoire from the 1990s. If you remember, that was part of the Batman Forever soundtrack. I have no idea why he did that, but thank you for the tip. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, so infiltration objective: reach your desired destination without being caught. All right. Better be careful here. Head to the tatami room. It's time for stealth, which you guys know I am an expert of stealth. It's actually one of my specialties, playing video games. Nice puffy jacket. Almost looks like my platinum vest. It's very close. I gotta do something or I'm busted. Taking cover. If you approach a cover point, you'll automatically take cover behind it. While taking cover, you'll be able to perform various actions, and you can't leave a cover point until it's safe. Alright. I guess this guy hit the full tip skull for the stream already. That's why he's wearing the, that uh, full jacket. Very nice. 
While taking cover, move the cursor over something or someone with a magnifying glass icon and press Y to take a closer look. Yo, you got a minute? They all got metallic I puffy heard we jackets. Got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay. Some interesting trivia. My my platinum vest was supposed to be a gold vest just like the one that guy's wearing. But it was out of stock, so the viewer who bought me the platinum vest ended up buying platinum instead of gold. Yep. Okay, if they see me, they'll call for backup. Better reach the fifth floor as quietly as possible. Alright. Okay, makes sense. He's asleep. What's up with this guy? Is he napping? I'll just walk right on through. Oh, Matthew Smith, my bad. Matthew Smith had done two different super chats. The first one he said, this is how you don't tail. Just kidding. I need another one apologizing. You don't have to apologize. I wasn't offended. I just was busy with the game and I didn't see it. I appreciate your super chats, Matthew. Thank you for the support, man. I don't have time to pick this. Backup is on the way. I gotta look around for the key. Alright, Kagome. I'll see you later. Of course, the key is right into next to this Hello Kitty tissue box. Okay. Yes, it worked. Because everyone just leaves the keys lying out, of course. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Nice, Staminon. I love it when they just leave Staminon lying around on the fire skate. It's a very common thing in Japan. Oh shit, here's the door. Shout out to Inching Forever, who just did me $1.50 and said, Today on Dragon Quest XI, I beat the first boss fight of the final boss, first main quest, Mordegon. I wasn't able to beat the second boss fight with Mordegon. Looks like I have to grind more, but I should finish the main quest soon. I'm sorry to hear you finally hit your first roadblock, but uh, it's pretty good if that's the last fight. Obviously, the challenge is probably welcome. So yeah, I hope that you have good luck on your second attempt, and after that, you got a lot more coming, so excellent. Thank you for the tip. What is the song called? Isn't it just called Do the Dinosaur? I think that's what it's called. Damn locked... Uh, how about the key I found earlier? Not the right one. I have to pick it. Now, nah, just do Kamadan on the door. It'll just burst open. Do some Kamadan. How to pick locks. Oh, so this is when you have to line up the different pins. I remember this. Yep. Your lock depth. And then, uh, yep. Okay, this is easy. Okay, so. There we go. Nice. That'll do it. Precision. I actually feel the thumbsticks are better on, on the Xbox Series X than the thumbsticks were on the PS4, because that was actually easy as hell. But it was more tricky on the PS4. Look at this asshole. <laughs> Is that the tatami room? Probably. That guy's in my way. I gotta do something about him in order to get to the tatami room. Causing a ruckus after coming this far isn't the smartest move, is it? Well, let's try out that plan. A coin toss. You can press RT. Right, trigger. Toss a coin. As long as you've been spotted, you can sneak up. As long as you haven't been spotted, you can sneak up on an enemy from behind and press Y to take them out. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna well, do a I coin toss. Damn, he murdered him. He actually killed him. What's going on, Brotherhood of Steel Paladin? It's good to see you. Welcome back to the streams. We got a, a, a special optional item over here. A dirt. Oh, I'm so glad I came over here to get the dirty cloth. I love covering my body with a, a series of dirty cloths. All right, we made it. Darkness says he really likes the variety. The game has all this different kind of gameplay. Yes, it does. Hey, don't just stand there. Shut the door already. All right, asshole. Mm. 
Well, they were right about oh, the gambling. Come on, I had you. Uh, Why does this always happen? Cause you're a sucker. So now we know what's going on. He's scamming girls, and then he's he's taking all their money and coming over here. What an ass. Here he is. He plucked right in front of a Chohan game. You need a better hobby. Come on, folks. Who wants I wonder what Chohan round? is. How you play? Everyone place their bets. Now or never. Chohan. You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go? Damn, home? they're actually trying to send them home. Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up. Nah. Uh, huh? Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you uh, getting all that cash from, anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but I got me a pretty good hustle. <laughs> Another girl with stars nah. in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, keep any of the secrets on you. Guess the proof is plain as day. Kosuke, you're one sneaky bastard. Take her money, take her heart. Hagosan will have every right to hate you. <clears throat> now, I, I gotta wonder, is this illegal in Japan? I guess, I guess he's, he, I mean, he's de being deceptive. But, is it a crime? I guess, it, is it considered fraud to do what he's doing? I don't know. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? Because I say we cut to the chase and have us a little one-on-one. -on -one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll oh, no, I have to tail him again? College boys about to learn something they don't I think I might have to tail him again. <laughs> Is there lucky hit? No, that's a different franchise, El Grizzoro. Hold on. Moon, Moon Walkman just did a $4.20 tip and said, Nice to see you playing your forte. Stealth. <laughs> yes. Uh, what did you miss? What did I miss of the story? Have fun. I can't wait to see your playthrough of this. Um, well, you didn't miss much. Basically, this is just a, their first investigation of the story to get, I guess, to introduce you to all the different gameplay mechanics. I get the feeling this probably isn't even the main story. This is just a way to get you back into the franchise. So, uh, you really missed nothing. Thank you very much, Moon Walkman, for the tip. I appreciate that. Okay. Hey, man. Hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, <laughs> or even your integrity. <laughs> you feel like you might have <clears throat> left those somewhere. Huh? What's your freaking problem? Does scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Dude! <laughs> have you so many girls, you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? Is you it? Back off me. Someone just said, isn't all gambling illegal in Japan? Maybe. You know, that would make sense because remember all the different casinos and things in the games? Yakuza and Judgment? They always seem to be in, like, these seedy back rooms. They're never, like, marked as, oh, gambling inside on the outside. So you may actually be absolutely correct that all gambling is illegal. I don't know. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Oh, Still great. think it's wise to talk the shit. The Tojo clan. The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> the Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. If name-dropping a long-dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a... Let's fucking go! I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> that excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! <laughs> no more chances! The gloves are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked up! <laughs> I hear you, kid. So, I can take the gloves off, too. Oh, God, I can break all his bones. Nah. I'm gonna break all his fucking bones. You for real right now? We're gonna liqui liquefy this motherfucker. Once a week, my man. You're going down. Yeah. A new style, a third style, possibly. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh my god, murdered. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. I did kill him. <laughs> You mad at him? Yes, I think he did guts. He said, did Yagami reference what happened in Yakuza 7? Yes, the Tojo clan got disbanded in Yakuza 7. So he referenced it. Hey, Yoshiro-san! Over here! 
Please, you gotta help me. Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden. Yeah, right. He did. Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? That a tatami room term for gambling addict? Gambling addict? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. Too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! About EX Boost. EX Boost is a special mode that slowly consumes the EX gauge in order to strengthen Yagami beyond his limits. Specifically, EX Boost increases attack speed, reduces flinching, and absorbs enemy damage. To activate it, press right trigger when the EX gauge has a segment charge, and press right trigger again to deactivate. Changing battle styles during EX Boost allows you to cancel out of almost any move. EX actions performed during EX Boost consume less of the gauge than usual. Certain combos like four Ys, and EX actions are only available with EX Boost. Ah! with the cart. Bonk, bonk. Oh, I'm missing. How am I fucking missing? It's a giant cart. What the? Where did it go? <laughs> Yo, it just landed. It, <laughs> it bounced like 30 feet into the air. That's amazing. So I'm actually being told the only gambling that's legal in Japan is actually like the pachinko machines and stuff like that. Gotcha. Now you're really asking for it. That was fucking hilarious. That shit bounced. Oh, now we got a chase too. Dude, they really are implementing every gameplay style in the game right off the bat. They want to show you everything that the game has to offer. Okay. So there are times when Yagami must chase down and catch a fleeing target. During chases, you'll run after your target automatically. Avoid obstacles by using the thumbstick and pressing certain buttons when you get prompted. The distance gauge shows how close you are to catching your target. But mind your health, you and your target will steadily lose health as the chase ensues. If your health runs out first, you'll get a game over. However, if your target's health runs out first, you can catch them and then continue the game. Alright. You won't get away. How to recover health in a chase? Correctly enter button prompts to evade obstacles and recover a bit of health. Pick up recovery items on the road to recover some, or pause the menu and use a recovery item. It was a giant item. They're, oh, comically Hold oversized. Up. There you go. Yo, he ran on the wall. Oh, that was pretty cool, actually. Dude, yeah, he didn't do that in the previous game. Wall running. Oh, fuck. Ah. Shit. Look out. This sucks. I hate the stupid road cone. No, wrong way quick. Ah! God damn it. I'm blowing it, man. I'm blowing it. Whoa! All right, Kosuke is almost out of hell. He's running out of stamina. Okay, about split paths. Let's see what this is. During a chase, you can choose which path to take in a moment's notice. You love the right to select the path you wish to follow, but you need to pick the right one or it's game over. Okay. Whoa. Got him. He ran out of hell, uh, stamina. All right. The target's health gets low. They stop running due to fatigue. Then when you press B to catch them. Very nice. So sports betting is partially illegal. Certain domestic sports can be wagered on in casinos only. I'm learning a lot about Japan today. This is nice. <clears throat> Makes sense. I played all the opposite games, and you wonder why is all Come the gambling on, in these bathroom places. That's why. Are you done? 
<laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tom? Nah. For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. <laughs> a, a lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Nah. He still has it. He still has his you lawyer badge. You're ha -ha. not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Nice. <clears throat> Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that? Kosuke Kun? Huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. <laughs> All right, that was cool. I like that introductory mission because it introduced you to all the aspects of the gameplay. That was really, really well done. Guys, this isn't funny. They stab things off me. I swear, this is all a mistake. Kosuke kun. Uh, Yuko John, uh, don't let these assholes con you. Right. Believe me. <clears throat> I didn't do anything wrong. Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko chan? Uh, he doesn't even remember her name. My name is Keiko. Wow. Chan. And you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke kun. <laughs> First, you're going to cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Uh. Do you even know who you're... I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Tuck. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would you? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof. Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you little shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean, you're detectives? It's a name, smart guy. <laughs> huh? Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right. They do. <laughs> they Don't do? talk like you never heard of us. Give the guy a break, Kaito san. We're still getting our name out there. Uh, oh. Why does this have to go down in front of our client? This is beyond embarrassing. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. Uh, that money's as good as gone. The guy who runs that bar's ex Tojo clan. I wasn't lying when I said he's Yakuza. Oh man, why did you believe someone we know from the other games? I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex Yakuza <laughs> strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, I'm loving the music too. under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? <sighs> hmm. Hey, uh, Chief, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why, you, uh, find yourself a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Why, at least you still got Keiko on lock. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. <laughs> Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, <laughs> that's simple. Wait. First, why is he? Why is he answering that? Up. It was a different voice. 
Then we slap on a last minute late fee and send a sobbing all the way to the soap land. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you got it all figured out. <laughs> Fucking voice acting. Wait. Why'd your voice change all of a sudden? Nah. <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Asshole. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen... Uh, the light! Ha ha ha! That's enough out of you. Come on, let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. Okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. It's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. They're not going to call the cops. Let's go, Kiko-san. Gendas Sensei's office is just up ahead. Okay. All right. Where are you going? We're going to Genda's office from the first game. Very nice. Genda Law Office. I wonder if it'll look exactly the same. This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. It looks the same, yep. The owner, Genda Sensei, it's like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Remember in the first game, one of them got murdered. That Genda was the big Sensei. mystery of the game. Why did he get murdered? Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. Director of the Genda Law Office, Yuzo Genda. It's good to see you. Uh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose Genda Sensei, but can Keiko-san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. Saving the game. Save your game from the pause menu. Whoa. Uh, well, <clears throat> here's your phone. Look at all these skills. We have 1,450 SP, and you can buy skills right off the bat. Boost the gauge and boost uh, boost grip. Increase your maximum grip gauge. I don't even know what that means. Grip? <laughs> What's the grip? Ability? All different abilities? Leapfrog strike. Attack while leapfrogging. Attack while running off the wall. That's actually useful. I'm gonna buy that. We used I used that a lot in the first game. Reduce damage taken when falling from high places when you fail to brace for an impact. And these are all the tiger style, crane style. Conscious eater. Boost health when you eat. Boost the chances of expanding an eatery's lucky menu. <laughs> oh boy. Boost health. Always good to boost health right from the get-go in games like this. All right. <clears throat> yes, I already is the is the, uh, the attorney from the first game. That's right. I remember. Okay. Uh. Save. Save the game. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Talk to Genda for the main story. Oops. There we go. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saurikun and Hoshino-kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti-nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Ah. Oh, you mean... It's a groping case? 
She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop of all things. Sheesh. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Okay. Get some backstory elaboration on what oh, we're yeah, doing. Oh yeah, I club. remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a grover! Stop him! Stop him! Ah, oh, they got him. I love how it's a courtroom drama as well as like an investigation game. <clears throat> That's cool. Ehara-san, do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> a bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Sorry, Shirasaki, attorney at Genda Law Office. Returning for the sequel. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Attorney Issei Hoshino, the other attorney. Sadly, the other one passed away in the first game. Leave an impression. Huh. Well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? Huh? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. So what he's saying is the whole thing's a setup. They were trying to get rid of him for some reason. That he didn't really do it. He's been framed. Okay. Hmm. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Saori Kun at the bench, but Hoshino Kun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. Then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Sour Raccoon's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean... He'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the forest anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. Hmm. So, once Kamuro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kun, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Mm. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. 
Okay. Well, we'll probably have tons of stuff to do. I wonder if the game opens up now. allows you to do a lot of side content. I just want to see if there's any items or collectibles back here. Same office from the first game. Looks pretty much identical. Yep, nothing really different. Still crowded, even though there's only three of them in there. Does she have anything else to say? Or a side mission? Please be careful, Yagami-san. No. And thank you. Hmm. So... Uh, my feeling is just initially, the guy didn't do it. He's innocent, and this is they want him out of the picture for some odd reason. Like, maybe he knows something, and he's a liability. So they feel that framing him for groping will put, send him to jail, and then they want to deal with his ass, right? That's what it seems like. Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. You won't be able to save after this point. Saving now is highly recommended. Not just yet. Give me just a sec, actually. Huh? If you say so. I'm curious how you open the map. Here we go. It's the uh, back button here. Pressing Y while viewing the map brings up a list of locations that you can visit. Okay. Any side missions available? Yes, there's a ridiculous amount of side missions available. Holy crap. Look around. Wow. Alright, let's save. And then let's do side content. Let's see what's going on here. Let's do some side stuff before we head into the main story. So right over here is the kids park. Oh, an item. Stretched coil. I see an item here too. A cigarette butt. Wait, it shows something here but there's nobody here. The hell? You see that, right? It acts like there should be someone here to talk to, but there's nobody here. Can't talk to these guys. Oh, uh, I'm confused. No one in the bathroom stall. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe only at certain parts of the day or something, because there's nobody here, right? Thank you to Mazzy for a super chat. They said, have a great day, DSP. Thank you, Mazzy. I appreciate that. Okay. My nose, ah, itching, ah. Okay. Well, there's no one here. I don't know why they sent me here, why it shows that there's someone on the map when there's not. I guess we can try other things. Let's try this. See if there's someone over here. Maybe, maybe it's just too early to do these, I don't know. It's, it'd be weird that they're on the map, but you can't do them. Shows. Yeah, what the hell? Look, there's no one here either. You hear about RK yet? I heard of him, never seen him before though. Maybe you have. I heard there's a whole lot of them. RK? Really, I don't know how I feel about that. You couldn't even be talking to a member right now. Good one. What does that mean? You were joking, right? <laughs> Is that it? Are they random conversations you're supposed to listen into to learn extra lore? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but there was nothing there. I thought it, these green things were missions. Apparently, they're not. Yeah. I'll try one more, and if it's the same, then obviously that's not the case. Let's go to Theater Square. That hurt. <sighs> Permanently crippled. The hell? No, these these are not here. Look, there's nothing here. So these are not here right now. What I'm assuming is they will appear, but they're definitely not here. Club Sega's still in the game. Sadly, Club Sega in real life is going out of business. 
This is probably the last you'll ever see it because all the physical locations are going away now. Yeah, they're all, they failed and they couldn't make enough money to maintain anymore. Especially during the pandemic, so. They're gone. This is the, your last chance to experience a club motor raid. Give me a lucky soda. Claw game right there. Super hang on. Motor Ray. And Space Harrier. Pretty much the same games that were in it in the previous game. Yeah, and darts. See? Same stuff. But I, from what I'm to understand, once you get like a home base, at your home base you're going to have a Sega Master System. And in that you can play games at home. Which will be pretty cool. I think it'll be pretty cool to play various video games at home. Apparently it has one that I've never played before. Uh, Sonic the Fighters. It was a Sonic the Hedgehog based fighting game. And I actually want to try it out. New York hot dog. New York style hot dog and coffee. Because everyone knows you always have a coffee with your hot dog. In New York City. Sure. Whatever you say. Well ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the side content is not available. Looks like we need to advance the story. So I guess we'll just advance the story for now, and then, uh... Yeah, Derek, Club Sega is going out of business in Japan. Completely. Like, they just had... They, I just saw someone on social media a day ago, they posted up. It was the last night for one of the major ones, and there was a giant line last night to get in, and people were waiting for hours to get in, just to go in one more time and play a game. Because it's the end of an era in Japan. Yeah. Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Alright, so I guess we will now advance on with the plot. Very nice. Okay.